Uh, Miriam Naam, is it Melinda? Melinda? Melinda, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Mayor Dazil and councillors, thank you for this opportunity to participate. I've been resident here for just three years and Christchurch is now my permanent home because I love it here and I can see the potential in the city. You've read my submission, so I'll just accentuate some points and put forward some observation. Water supply. My main points are, one, selling aquifer water. I understand now that this is not in the council control. Um, and two, chlorination, and a plea um, to return to unchlorinated water when the work is finished as originally proposed. I know, um, Madam Dazeel, you want that to happen, but I understand there could be some government um, intervention on that. Um, flood management and stormwater. I have nothing to add except to note ECAN's role in that. Recreational facilities. I have nothing to add except also to note ECAN's role in planning bus routes and timetables. Wastewater management. Nothing to add to my submission. Parks and heritage. I've subsequently learned that a private individual has been mowing the red zone, and I hope the council has employed him. Transport. My main point there is that with better strategic planning, <coughs> the budget can be better managed. As you saw in my submission, there's all the digging up of roads and non, non mm. seems to be a non, um, mm, non, non communication with all the private enterprises. Accessible city. For me, this means parking for workers, parking for visitors and patrons, a people-centric architecture, not wholly cost-centric. Transport accessibility in and out to do work, to do business, to patronise businesses, to support recreational events and the arts. This covers walking, cycling, buses, cars, trams or other, and of course, disabled considerations. I've been impressed with some of the previous submissions. The largest private parking organisation in the city charges too much. In general, I feel there should be no charge to park on weekends or after 6pm in all parking situations. And it would be nice to always have some free parking available too. I believe the new buildings in the CBD need to include enough parking on lower floors to accommodate all workers and visitors in the building and I'm hoping that the council can have some influence on that. I also believe new buildings should pass a design filter with the council to ensure good and harmonious design. We're going to be living with these buildings for a long time. In my opinion, they need to look and feel good. I visited a building the other day and I could not find my way out of the vestibule due to, vestibule due to its compromises in design. The council, the council should plan bus routes and timetable. I don't understand why ECAN does. Um, so I've got some further comments on council responsibility. While preparing the submission, I've been surprised at the split of responsibilities between the council and other bodies, something that was referred to just earlier. But to me, it makes sense that the town council has the final say over all things to do with the city and its residents. I would like to see the council make can we a stand. applaud the submission? <laughs> I, can, I can send you a copy, sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, I would like to see the council make a stand on this and get control of, for example, selling our aquifer water, removing chlorination when repairs are complete, having significant influence on the management of polluted runoff waters which come through the city, planning bus routes. I also think the council needs to manage parking fees charged by private companies, design of new buildings, effective coordination of service providers who dig up the roads, mowing the red zone. Look, I've missed many examples, but I think you get where I'm coming from. Mm. I would like, however, to thank you for the work done so far, the amazing unseen work which has occurred in our infrastructure following the quakes. I feel that we need to retain this spirit and keep the vision of creating a fabulous city, to continually improve the way we operate and not become complacent. I believe that ratepayers will understand and support this. Let's be a city that people like to do business in, 
that we like to use recreationally and let's create a great place to live. And as I said, I can give you a copy of this. I didn't bring. That would be great. And um, I just would like to applaud you because I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, <laughs> well, sometimes, you know, when you read somebody's submission and then they come along to speak, I mean, you've added real value by making the choice to come along and speak. So thank you very much for doing that. Thank you. Really thank appreciate you for the opportunity. It. Thank, I, you. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.